In this video, I'm gonna bring you up to speed to a small cap ASX growth stock called Novonics. Novonics is a advanced battery materials and testing company here in Australia, but the majority of their operations are actually based in North America. Then I'm gonna go over my findings when it comes to rumors about the Tesla partnership with Novonics and whether there is any legs behind that rumor. Full disclosure, I don't own any of this stock as of recording this video. And this video is obviously not for financial advice, just purely for entertainment purposes. So there's really three parts to this video. The first part is everything you need to know about the company itself, how it operates and the problem it's trying to solve. The second part is we're gonna get a very light look on the financials and some of the key personnel within the company. In my opinion, the key personnel are probably way more interesting than the financials. At the end of this video, I'm gonna wrap it up with what I found when it comes to the partnership rumors between Tesla and Novonics and whether if it's real at all. If this is your first time here, my name is David. And if at any point you found this video to be helpful, just make sure you gently smash that like button right there and that will support me keep making videos for you. So without further ado, let's Here's everything you need to know about this company. There are two main sides to the business. There is the testing and then there's the supply of synthetic graphite. Let me explain. In 2013, this company was started by Dr. Chris Burns and Dr. David Stevens at the time, focusing on testing equipment for measuring battery performance in weeks instead of months or years. Now, this is a big deal for battery engineers because instead of taking months or years just to find out the performance differences by changing a variant inside the battery, now it just takes weeks. Now, as part of the testing side of the business, Novonics also have research and development relationships within Dalhousie University and all of the intellectual property that comes from the relationship will be ultimately owned by Novonics as well. And within that relationship, the whole premise behind it is focusing on incubating new battery materials and manufacturing processes. More on that in just a second. Now, given their ability to test battery materials extremely quickly, this enabled Novonics to create a form of synthetic graphite that has a longer cycle life and cheaper to produce. Now, by producing a better and a cheaper battery, this is a key characteristic that will reduce the cost of the battery inside an electric vehicle. And this is really important for the mass adoption of electric vehicles because the most expensive component inside the vehicle is the battery pack. So the testing services and the supply of synthetic graphite is really the core business of Novonics at the moment. Now, where things get really interesting is a research and development partnership with Dalhousie University. And in May 2020, a new manufacturing breakthrough when it comes to creating synthetic graphite caught Tesla's attention. The problem with creating the materials inside the battery with a conventional method is that there's a lot of waste. And since you have to use chemicals to treat it, the yield on these materials after it's being processed can be anywhere between 50 to 70%. But the breakthrough in the manufacturing process that's patented by Novonics allows them to dry synthesize the battery material with little to no waste. And that improved the yield from 50% to 100%. Now this significantly reduces the cost when it comes to manufacturing battery materials and increases the efficiency. Now it's important to know here that the battery pack is the most expensive component within an electric vehicle. And if you can reduce the cost of the battery materials significantly, this is going to attract a lot of electric vehicle companies' attention. And in this case, the patent that's done by Novonics caught Jeff Dorn's attention. Now, Jeff Dorn is a very key character in this growth story because he is the lead battery researcher for Tesla. And if you don't know who Jeff Dorn is, he helped pioneer the lithium ion battery we're all using right now. And he's basically the Michael Jordan of the battery research world and a lead professor in battery tech in Dalhousie University. Uh, not only that, Dr. Chris Burns' PhD thesis on the testing equipment was actually done under the guidance of Jeff Dorn. So those relationships are really important that I'm gonna explain a little bit more later in the video. So getting interest, especially quotes from Jeff Dorn on your manufacturing process is a big deal in the battery research world. The last thing I wanna mention here is that one of the more important problems Novonics is trying to solve is an alternative source of battery materials that's made outside of China in North America. The supply of materials currently is dominated by China. And because of the trade wars and the pandemic, battery makers are trying to look for ways to diversify the supply chain. And for the first time, Novonics have shown the market that their synthetic graphite material can compete 
with supplies in China in both price and quality, arguably better in quality and cheaper. Now, this is shown by the initial agreement with Samsung and the non-binding memorandum of understanding with Sanyo. Just for your information, Sanyo is a subsidiary of Panasonic and Panasonic makes most of the batteries in Tesla. And again, this is just adding fire to the Tesla partnership rumor. All right, let's talk numbers. Novonix grew their revenue by 39% year on year. It's quite modest at the moment. They're not profitable yet, but they just finished a capital raising of $58 million. For a company like this, you really gotta read their investor updates instead of trying to look at Yahoo Finance or anywhere else because most websites won't have an updated version of their balance sheet. So to save you some time, the most updated balance sheet is saying that they'll have approximately 38 to $43 million worth of cash, 2.2 million worth of debt, and approximately 66 $6 million dollars worth of equity. So they really shouldn't have any issues when it comes to external shocks. And I'm personally more interested in the income statement just so that I can get an idea of how much money they are burning at the moment. Now, the more interesting thing to me is their management team. There's quite a few of them, but I'll point out a few that I think is really worthwhile noting. You have Andrew Leveris, who's the ex-CEO of Dow DuPont, one of the largest chemical companies before it split into multiple companies. And now are a board member at Saudi and Morocco, one of the largest companies by revenue. Now he is a key character in Novonix's growth story. Because back in the DuPont days, the company did a lot of research and development for Samsung. So he's got strong ties with them. Furthermore, he sits on the board of Lucid Motors, which is another EV startup that's challenging Tesla's position. And guess what? They just signed a deal with Samsung SDI to get all of their lithium ion batteries. And guess who signed an initial supply agreement with Samsung? Novonix. Coincidence? You tell me. And the most interesting board member of all is having a retired US Admiral who used to be in charge of the Atlantic fleet. He is also a non-executive director in multiple security and defense companies across the globe. As a matter of fact, the CEO, Philip Sinbaker, actually mentioned the admirals on board to help with future military applications. Here's what he said. Um, we've got on the bottom left there, we've got a, a retired admiral um, uh, who used to be in charge of the Atlantic fleet, um, who has he's had his own, uh, uh, his own consulting business for a long time and sits on the boards of, say, BAE Systems um, and advises many companies around the world, um, but is very interested in the battery space, fully understands the importance of batteries and battery technology for military. Uh, and other purposes, and, and that's why he's on the board to, uh, to help us in that space. Now, although their numbers is still very modest, Novonix has all the right ingredients to break into an industry with sky-high barrier to entry. But the future of the battery tech is really promising, and it's not just in EVs, because there's a lithium battery in almost everything, our phones, our laptops, and recently in South Australia, even our power grids. So the demand for battery materials can only skyrocket from here. So let's wrap up the video with the rumors around Novonix having a partnership with Tesla. Here are the important facts that we know. The rumor started when Novonix announced their patent around a new manufacturing process with a quote in the announcement papers from Jeff Dorn. Now Jeff Dorn are one of the leading researchers when it comes to battery tech. So a quote from him waits a lot. On top of that, the relationship between Dr. Chris Burns and Jeff Dorn goes way back because his PhD thesis on high accuracy battery testing equipment was done under the guidance of Jeff Dorn. And not to mention that Dr. Burns was also a former battery research engineer when Jeff Dorn signed an exclusive partnership to do research with Tesla in 2016. So the relationship is definitely there between Dr. Burns and Jeff Dorn. What's more interesting is that in a paper released by Jeff Dorn in 2019, where he essentially documented how you'll go about making an a million mile battery, artificial graphite is part of that recipe. The artificial graphite used in the paper originated from China, and who can make better graphite than China at this point? Novonix. So the partnership with Tesla definitely have legs either directly or indirectly via Sanyo. And Sanyo basically do majority of the battery production for Panasonic and Panasonic makes most of the batteries for Tesla. Now I'm gonna pay attention to this story as it unravels since Tesla's battery day is coming up soon. And as Novonix 
start fulfilling their Samsung contract, we should really get an idea of whether the battery material is as good as it seems. So thank you so much for watching this video all the way to the end. It'll mean a lot to me if you could gently smash that like button. And I know the style of the video is a little bit different and I hope you enjoy that. Now my next video is gonna be on taxes. If you're interested in that, make sure you subscribe to my channel, click onto the bell so that when that video is ready, you be the first one to know. And also I gotta give a shout out to one of my Discord members who helped me out with the story because he was an early investor in the stock, very, very early. So thank you, man, I really, really appreciate you. And until next time, my name is David and Otto will always do the honest and see you very, very soon.